guys what's going on um, today I'm gonna show you how to fix your leak in your dangerous power G4 and so first off most of you have leaks coming from the macro line right here and what you wanna do is you wanna push this back I'm not actually gonna do it because I already did it but you're gonna push this back and pull the macro line out and this might be a little tough uh, just be sure there's no air in there or that you don't have your tank connected and then once you do that you want to actually pop this um, piece out and don't be afraid it's, it's supposed to come out and you just want to pop that out and in there there's an o-ring and you want to pull that out um, use like your allen wrench or something it doesn't really matter and once you have that out you want to wipe all of the lube off of it and put some good lube on that on it don't put oil just use like um, any kind of lube really and you want to make sure it's not damaged in any way and if it is um, and it's a new gun called dangerous power and they'll send you a new one so you want to do that and you want to make sure your macro line doesn't have any like rough edges and if it does get a box cutter and cut it just cut a little bit off um, cut it straight like because if it's at an angle it'll leak and then once you do that if you're still having trouble um, call them and if your gun like is brand new it'll still be under warranty so they can you can send it in to them and it'll fix it or you can just buy new fittings but yeah so I'm gonna air it up for you Okay, as you can see, it's got it's aired up and there's no leaks. I promise you, I'm not lying, this works. Um, yeah, so be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, um, the bolt stick, just as soon as you get the gun, pull the bolt out and lube it up. And... Be sure to clean your eyes, and to do that, you just take your smallest Allen wrench, just take that off right there, and there's a spring in there, and make sure that doesn't pop out. And you want to carefully remove the eye, and just wipe it off with a Q-tip, with a dry Q-tip, and yeah, you should be good after that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.